Welcome to another moment of tiki here in the Lagoon of Mystery, my home tiki bar in Central Texas. I make no secret of the fact that I love having an outdoor tiki bar, but even here in Central Texas, we get the occasional day where it's almost like winter. It's too darn cold to sit out here in my tiki bar sipping icy tropical cocktails. So whenever that happens, there's one solution for the honest to goodness tiki file tropical cocktail lover, and that is hot buttered rum. Now, to make a nice bone warming hot buttered rum, first you need some hot buttered rum batter. And, and we're out. Okay. Well, that's good because it means we get to go inside the heated house and make some hot buttered rum batter before we make the hot buttered rum. So, come on, let's go. My recipe for hot buttered rum batter is based on Martin Kate's recipe as uh, printed out in Smuggler's Cove book. Uh, mine is adapted though, it's not identical. I have made some adjustments to suit my taste better and uh, also reduce the size because he gives a recipe for a very large batch of batter that would probably take me about two years to go through. So we've scaled it back a little. We're going to start by gathering our spices that go into the batter to give it the flavor. Uh, it's always best to use fresh ground spices if you can, but for instance, allspice, I wasn't able to find any allspice berries, so I purchased pre-ground allspice. But you open it, it's been sealed, so it'll have more flavor than if it's been sitting in the counter in the cabinet for months on end. Now for this, we are going to use one half a teaspoon of allspice. Put it right there. Next, we need one full teaspoon of cinnamon. So, I prefer Ceylon cinnamon, which is a little bit softer, has a little bit more delicate flavor than the traditional cinnamon. And I am putting the cinnamon sticks in my coffee grinder. You may remember it from when I made Orjot and used it to grind up the almonds. Ooh, just smell that cinnamon in the air. Ooh, a lot of it's powdered but there's still a lot of grit. So what we're going to do is put the remnants into this mortar and pestle, and I'm going to grind it the rest of the way into a more powdery form. Now with this ground, it's not completely ground, there's still chips and pieces, but we have a lot of powder. So I'm gonna try and separate it out. And hopefully we'll have enough powdered version to fulfill our needs. There we go. my high-tech uh, funnel system here. Mm. 
Next up is one half tablespoon, one half teaspoon of black pepper. So I have my pepper mill. You know the routine by now. And this gives it a little more dimensionality. I think pepper, ooh, but it's that nice undertaste, a little, little bit of bite to it. And with tiki, you always hear about fresh is best. And that is true with fruit juices, but spices where that mantra really, really holds forth. So. Next, one half teaspoon of cloves. pretty crunchy. Looks like they're gonna have to uh, get the mortar and pestle treatment. So here we have pieces of ginger. Cut up a few more. Hmm. Smells strongly. Now let's see if we can get any good ginger juice out of here, huh? going to scoop out this ginger mush, put it into strainer. Let's see if I can press any liquid out. There we're getting some. That's about a quarter of an ounce. That'll probably work for my needs. So we'll put the ginger right over here. Now we come to the cooking part. Two sticks of butter equals one cup. So we're going to put them in this pot right here and turn up the heat and melt them. I mean, you can't have hot buttered rum without hot rum, right? Hot butter, butter rum. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you sit through the entire slow melting process. I'm gonna speed up the film a little bit, do some editing. So you, you can just 
get the good parts. Okay, we have butter thoroughly melted, so it's time to add brown sugar. We're going to do two packed cups of brown sugar. And stir in. Stir the brown sugar in until it completely melts. Now that we have the brown sugar and the butter kind of melting and merging together, we're going to add next ingredients here, Mexican vanilla, which we always like to get whenever we visit the Caribbean. And we're doing half a teaspoon. Well, vanilla acts as a flavor enhancer, so you probably can't go wrong with going with a little more. After that, we're going to add some molasses. And go with a mild grade A molasses. If you do black strap or anything like that, it's liable to uh, be a little strong. We're going to do one full teaspoon of molasses. I grew up with this stuff. Didn't know what maple syrup was till I was like in high school. Rural, small town, Texas. Very, very Southern. You want to keep it on medium to low heat. Because anything more than that is likely to scorch it. This is very thick and it does not let heat pass through very easily. So we're getting some significant bubbling and boiling. Now we are going to add the spices. Okay, and finally, mentioned maple syrup. I think this adds a nice flavor component in the rum batter. And putting one teaspoon in right there. Now I think we have got maximum coherence. This is all gelled and, and blended nicely together. So I'm removing from the heat and gonna let cool a little bit. But now, you thought I'd forgotten about this because this is fresh and volatile. I didn't wanna put it in while it was still cooking. So all the, uh, uh, aromatics and, and flavor compounds cooked out, but now that it's off, I'm going to add and stir in real quickly here. That little bit of a ginger bite. Ginger also acts as kind of a flavor enhancer. Adding a little bit of a pop to what we have. Now that it is cooled just a little bit, it's time to bottle it up. You want to get it bottled before it fully cools because it's going to be congealed and not want to come out of your saucepan into the pot, into the jar. Mm. 
Kind of smooth, huh? Store the finished hot buttered rum batter in the refrigerator. Uh, as long as it's kept cold in the refrigerator, it will last as long as the butter you used to make it would last, which is you know months at a time. Uh, when it's stored in cool conditions, it will harden and get very solid. But that's no problem because to make your hot buttered rum, you're going to take a tiki mug. In this case, it is an enchanted tiki room tiki mug. So it's a tiki mug, although it's not a tiki mug. And you will get several generous scoops. One, two, and probably one more here. you will learn uh, to judge the flavor that you prefer and adjust accordingly. Now for the rum, you can't go wrong with hot buttered rum. Pretty much any type of rum will work. However, I do feel the more full bodied, stronger flavored rums work well. I like a Plantation OFTD. It's overproof, 69% alcohol. So I'll do one ounce of that. And then for a little more flavor punch, I will use a Jamaican funky hogo pot still with banana esters, all that good stuff. Hamilton's pot still Jamaican black works well. So does Myers. So does Karuba. Uh, any of the Jamaican Worthy Park, a lot of these uh, dark, full-bodied, hogo-filled Jamaican rums will work. And then, once you have your two ounces of rum and your batter in, it'll come up with the hot water. I took the liberty of boiling this right before the camera started rolling. And what happens is the hot, water will quickly melt your batter and you stir it together and it mixes with the rum and the batter and you're good and the last thing is to get a piece of cinnamon stick to garnish and you're good <clears throat> let's go drink this someplace more appropriate Ah, this is more like it. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. Now, taste that warm, buttery, cinnamon, rum, just all the flavors combining into a rich, delicious, sweet, hot beverage. Mmm, to warm from the inside out. You notice this is not Lagoon of Mystery, my home tiki bar outside in Central Texas. It's too darn cold for that. This is the upstairs loft, which we last saw about 10 episodes ago when I made the baseboards. I have not made much progress since then, but I can assure you it's much warmer than outside and much more comfortable. So I will have to make it a priority to redouble my efforts tiki this room so we can hide up here and drink away the winter chill. Until next time, hoist a hot buttered room and a